الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد proceed so to continue our explanation of the nasik wal lasus and the next sentence is ثم قال اللص الأول سقال is a fail al madi it means he said اللص is الفاعل and al-fa'il the doer is always marfoon, which is why there's a dhamma on the sad. Therefore, al-awwal. And what goes on the lam on al-awwal? Al-awwala. Why would there be a fatha on al-awwala? No. No, but what would be the reason for it? Because it's the maful bihi, no? Right. If, if al-awwala is a maful bihi, what does that sentence me? No, it's not. It's not al It doesn't make sense yet, so. What does al awwal mean? First. The first. The first. Okay, we've had a thani. Mm -hmm. The second, we've had a thalithu. Yes. The third. And this is al awwal which I think we've already mentioned. al awwal is the first. Yes, yes. So the first, this is an isman, right? A normal isman. And it begins with alif alam. al awwal Right? It's al awwal But why is it al awwal What's the grammatical reason why it's al awwal It's not an idafa because the first noun has alif lam on it and the first noun in the dafa never has alif lam but what else matches between the first and the second noun? It's a sifa. Right, it's a sifa. al awwalu is a sifa to a description of al Remember? The first thief Okay. Idafa is closely related. Yes. And sifa is something that describes. Yes. It. Right. And you know, you know that this isn't going to be an idafa regardless because it begins with al. Yeah. Right. So therefore, it's a sifa, a, a, a description of a lassu. And remember that a sifa must agree with. No. The al mawsufu the one that it describes in four matters. What are those four matters? Number. Number. Gender. Gender. Um, uh, what's called? Uh, Number, gender, and, and uh, what we have a dhamma here because we have a dhamma here. Yeah. So al halu the state, so and the, yeah, the last so one is we have alif lam here because there's alif lam here. Yeah, state. Nakira or ma'rifa, whether it's known or indefinite or indefinite. If it was lassun, then it would be awwalun. But it's al lassu, therefore it's al awwalu, right? Qala al lassu al awwal, right? So what does all of that sentence mean, Ya uh, Shibazu? The first thief. So the first thief said. So, yeah. Then the first then, thief yeah. said. Right. What did the first thief say? Haza. Haza. Sahih. Right. Right. Haza Sahih. Hada Sahih. Right, what goes on the ha here? Hada Sahih. Sahih. Uh, sahih. Sahihun. Yeah. Why Sahihun? Uh, that's right. That's because Hada Sahihun. Yeah. What type of sentence yeah. is Hada Sahihun? Hada Sahihun is what type of sentence? Jumla to Lismiya. Jumla ya namal haq. Jumla to Lismiya. Hada Sahihun. Remember that Al Jumla to Lismiya can begin with Hada. 
because hada as we mentioned is al ismul ishara remember al ismul ishara al ismul isharatu or in english a demonstrative pronoun Okay, which doesn't make a great deal of sense to very many people. But al ismul ishara, which means a noun that directs you or points towards something, such as if we say hada qalamun, hada qalamun, right? Hada qalamun is al jumlatu ismiya. Hada qalamun is al jumlatu ismiya. Why? Which one is al mubtada and which one is al khabar? Khabar qalamun. Right. Qalamun is al khabar. Okay. And hada therefore must be. Hada therefore must be. Al mubtada. Right. That is a jumlatu ismiya. Okay. It's important to remember that. Uh, that hada can be the al mubtada in al jumlatu al ismiya because usually we say uh, uh, the usual uh, al mubtada in al jumlatu al ismiya is an ismun that begins with alif lam, right? Most of the time, that's how we encounter it. So we say, for example, al qalamu. Aswadu, al qalamu aswadu. The pen is black. Al baytu kabirun. The house is large. Usually, al mubtada in al jumla al ismiyad is al, beginning with al, but not always. And this is an example. So when you say hada sahihun, this is correct. That is al jumla al ismiyad. So to continue, therefore, hada sahihun. Then, la yunkum. La yunkin. La yunkinu. An yakuna. Haza. An yakuna. Haza. Prejudice. Nasika. Is it Hadha Rajulu or Hadha Rajulun? It's not Rajulun because it's a Halif Lam. Right. Kenu and Yakuna Hadha Rajulu Rajulu Nasi Nasi Ken. Right. Na see actually that should be Nasi Ken. Like this. Right. لا يمكن أن يكون هذا الرجل ناسكا. Now this particular sentence often confuses students. And the reason being, this part أن يكون. So let's leave أن يكون out of this for the moment. Right? And let's read it. لا يمكن هذا الرجل ناسكا. Of course, if we did it, because we've left an yakun out of it, that's now grammatically incorrect, but we'll leave that for the moment, right? Now, uh, actually, no, it's, it, it's still grammatically correct, but we'll explain why, right? So, la yumkinu hadha rajulu nasiken, okay? What does Hadha Rajalu Nasi just if we were to say Hadha Rajalu Nasi Ken, of course then it would be Hadha Rajalu Nasi Kun. Okay, what does that sentence mean? Hadha Rajalu Nasi This man is hermit. Right. This man is a hermit. Okay, Hadha Rajalu that it would be of course Nasi Kun, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would be Nasi kun like that. Okay, Hadha Rajalu Nasi kun. Okay, Hadha Rajalu Nasi kun. Note the difference, very important, 
between Hadha Rajulu Nasikun and Hadha Rajulun Nasikun. Okay. Hadha Rajulun Nasikun. Huh? Right. What does Hadha Rajulu Nasikun mean? This man. Nasikun. Is a, is a right. Hadha Rajulu Nasikun means this man is a hermit. Okay? This man. That's what you're saying. Hadha Rajulu. Right? What does Hadha Rajulun Nasikun mean? Is a no. So th this example isn't, isn't actually very helpful because it doesn't entirely make sense. So let's say rather than uh, Nasikun will say Tawilun. Tawilun. Right? That's better. And we'll actually we'll remove an asikun here too and we'll say tawilun so they both match. This is a better example. Right? How the rajul tawilun means? This man is tall. Right. This man is tall. Okay? Important that. This man is tall. Now Hadha Rajulun Tawilun means? This is a tall man. Right, animal haq. Good. This is a tall man. This is. Okay? In English, that's how we understand it. This is a tall man. Tall man. Right? That's the difference between them. Is that clear? Right? So the presence of the Alif Alam, or the absence in this instance, okay. that's what differentiates whether you say this man or this is a tall man. Right? So going back, can you see now why I substituted Tawilun for Nasikun? Because it wouldn't make sense. Uh, because Nasikun <coughs> is not a sifa of uh, a rajul where tawilun is. Now, la yumk and yakunu hada rajulu hada rajulu rajulu na se ken. Right? So, what does this therefore mean? Right, we know that hada rajulu na se ken means? This one is a hand. Right. So what does la yumkinu mean? It's not possible. Right, la yumkinu means not possible. it's not possible. Mm. La yumkinu. Right, so what does la yumkinu hadha rajulu nasikan mean? It's not possible that this man is a hermit. Right, good. Yeah. Can you see why it's still grammatically correct? Why that's still mansubun? Because now in effect it's a mafulun bihi of la yumkinu. So what you're saying is La Yumkinu Right Hadha So Hadha here is the file, the doer Right So this La Yumkinu isn't possible Isn't possible what? Nasikan is a Nasik Can you see why Nasikan is neither Mafulun B and it's still grammatically correct Now They've included an Yakuna here Right? So we understand what this sentence is now trying to convey. The idea that Allah Sulawul said, Hada Sahihun, this is correct, La Yunkinu Hada Rajulu Nasikan. It's not possible that this Rajulu is Nasikan. Right? So what's the purpose of An Yakuna? And why is it An Yakuna and not An Yakunu? 
Why is it not an yakun mu and an yakun na? Because an makes it mansubun. Right, Shabazz? Remember? Right. So what does yakunu, going back to yakunu, what does it actually mean? First of all, what type of uh, word is it? Yakunu? It's a verb. It's a fitlon. Kana yakunu. Okay, kana yakunu. Kana means? Used to. No, no, no. Kana doesn't mean used to. Kana means? He or it was. It's the way in Arabic that you say was. So kana means he or it was. So yakunu means? If that's was, yakunu must mean? What's the present? Of was, is, right? And there is. Yes, there is or he is or it is. But it's also used to refer to will be. Yeah. He will be, it will be, they will be. Okay? It's very commonly used for that too. Okay? So what's its purpose here? La yunkinu an yakuna hadha rajulu nasikin. It's not trying to say, it's not possible that this Rajulu will be a Nasikan, is it? Because he already isn't according to Allah So he's not talking about the future. So what does it actually mean? Well, all he's trying to say is, is to emphasize the point that it's not possible that he is he is It's for tawqeed For emphasis To make the point That هذا رجلو This رجلو لا يمكن أن يكون That he is Right? It's nothing more than that But the way that it's used Is slightly more Difficult than what we've encountered it before because we've always said that uh, We've said for example Yakunu Yakunu At-talibu At-talibu Alimun Sorry, Aliman Aliman Yakunu Talibu Aliman, which means the student will be a scholar. Right. That's how we've always used it. Yakun wa talibu aliman to indicate something that will happen. Right? Yakun wa talibu aliman. But here it's just used to emphasize the present. I have a rajul. Okay, is that clear? Right, the next sentence, please. The next sentence. Wastamara. Athalithu. Wastamara. Athalithu. Yes, Aluna. Yes, Aluna and Nasik and Il Enza Right. What's the Marra? A thalith, right. First of all, istamarra, very important verb is istamarra. What does istamarra mean? Istamarra means he continued. Okay? 
استمر means he continued. Say to which say she continued. استمرت. How do we say I continued? استمر تو استمر تو you continued single male استمرت and so on and so forth right استمر he continued الثالث what does الثالث mean the the three actually it's not الثالث it's الثلاثة تو isn't it الثلاثة تو الث الثلاث الثلاث that's what it is. Athalatha two. Right. Athalatha two is the three. Athalatha two is the three. And this is marfu'un. Athalatha two is marfu'un. And the reason why Athalatha two is marfu'un because. Shabazz. Istamara. Our sentence begins with istamara. Therefore, what type of sentence is it? Al Jumla al Fi'liya. So if we begin with the fi'lun, what follows the fi'lun? Fa'ilun. And the fa'ilun is always marfu'un. Okay? So al thalatha too is marfu'un because it's the fa'ilun. Right? Wastamara al thalatha too. Yes, aluna. What does yes aluna mean? Doing something now. The singular he is sa'ala. Used frequently in our Quran. Sa'ala sa'ilun bi'adhabin waqi' Yes alunaka and al anfali is used frequently. Sa'ala means he asked. Okay. He asked is Sa'ala. So, yes, Aluna. Present tense. Not we, that's Nas Alu. Yes, Aluna is they, plural, male, asked. Right? Yes, Aluna. Wastamara al Thalathatu, yes, Aluna. Now, we begin the sentence with Istamara, which means he continued. Yeah. Even though our dua, our fa'il, is a Thalathatu, yeah. which is a plural. Why do we begin the sentence with a singular he verb? Whereas the dua is plural, male. The beginning always singular. Because the beginning is always singular. Right, Shabazz? You know that we've done this. Yeah. Right, the beginning of a jumla tul fa'liya, it only has to match in what? After. No, no, no. In terms of the dua and the verb at the beginning, what does it have to match in? Gender. gender. It has to match in gender. Um, but after that, not number, in number it's always singular. Mm -hmm. But after that, it has to match in number. Yeah. Remember? Once you've mentioned who the fa'il is, every fi'lun that refers back to that fa'ilun has to match in number. That's why you have to now say, yes, aluna. Because. It's the plural that we're talking about. Okay? Yes, aluna, and si. So, what do we place on the calf? And na si. Huh? Yes, aluna, and na si. And na si ka. Yes, aluna, and na si ka. An, what does an mean? Type of word is an? Harfu jarrin. Anil, anza, ti. Wastamarra thalathatu yasaluna an nasika anil anza ti. Right? Is that clear? 
So we have harfu uh, jarrin and ismul jarri, the noun which has become majroor as a result of the harfu jarrin. Is that clear, that sentence? Right, the next sentence is. وَيَقُولُونَ وَيَقُولُونَ إِنَّهَا 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 كَلْبٌ كلب حتى صدق حتى صدق الناسك actually it's not الناسك but الناسك كلامه هم right Right. Kala ma hum. Right. Wayakuluna. Wayakuluna. What does Wayakuluna mean? And is it? No. Yes. And saying remember wa yas'aluna an-nasika 'anil 'anzati wa yaquluna wa yaquluna and they are saying present tense plural okay why ya shabazo is it a, a plural wa yaquluna because we're still referring to the three thieves okay and the three thieves um Obviously, that's a plural. Mm. So every verb that refers back to the three thieves must be plural. Innaha. Innaha kalbun. Now we need to discuss innaha in a bit more detail, even though we mentioned this before, right? But it's good to do a reminder. For dhikr inna dhikra tanfa'ul mu'mineen. As Allah said, and remind them because a reminder benefits. So,